heard a lot about 1997. What a notable year beyond par. Where do I start sharing with you about this very unique year? Well, with Trinidad Carnival being the greatest show on earth, it was the year of Peter Minshall. Portrayal of tapestry and that copped the band of the year title. Additionally, it was the same year that the late Ian R. Robinson was appointed as the third president of this country. And in the mix too, the smartphone era had just dawned on us, while links just appeared as an additional medium for payments. <laughs> However, this one, without a doubt, takes the prize. In 1997, as was mentioned earlier, six very dynamic and brilliant bankers, Peter Julie, Ronald Harford, Richard Young, Steve Badeshi, Larry Hawaii, and the late Ronald Huggins, as you heard from the various bank member banks, acted on a bold idea and an extraordinary vision, one that they all considered would be an exceptional asset for the banking sector as well as the country. And so Thursday, May 1st, 1997, welcomed the birth of the Bankers Association of Trinidad and Tobago. My esteemed audience, I extend a very warm welcome and my gratitude to you for being present here this evening to celebrate our, our association's Silver Jubilee. For those of you who don't know me, I am Richard Downey, but I am but is 25 years old. A slightly older than I am slightly older than that, You're not much. But I am young in my role, having only been in the role for a year. In preparing my remarks for this evening's ceremony, I was unconsciously absorbed into a walk down memory lane. Some of it was shared, but I will still recount it for you. And it, it shared me on some vintage memories. The dash to the bank on a Friday afternoon to obtain the cash for the weekend. All right, long lines. Filling out of the mandatory deposit and withdrawal slips. We all had various versions of those. The proud presentation of the past book. Very difficult to get rid of, right? It was big, big issues. Some people still hold on to them just to look back and see what the balance was at some point. You know, in recollection, I chuckle on some of these things that we've done, but we've seen things moving away from cash into the smartphone territory in the last couple of years, and we continue to evolve. You would swear you are looking at a science fiction movie with some of these things now. <laughs>